welcome back. You're still watching what are you saying? Hashtag ways. Um, today, <laughs> we have so many stories in the news. Um, we'll go with you, Sanzi, first. What did you find? Okay, so today being Sunday, this um, story caught my interest. Um, it's uh, uh, an investigation currently going on, going on in the UK concerning this church, SBAC Nation, which is run by a 39-year-old um, Toby Adeboyega, which according to the story, he is the cousin to um, the popular Star Wars actor, John Boyega. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, him being a pastor, he tells, um, these are allegations, they, of course they denied it, he tells members to go as far as selling their blood to be able to raise money and sow seed to the church. Now they are expected to raise 100,000 pounds in a week. And so these members, they sell their blood and they get paid uh, 100 pounds. And um, primarily, the church is mostly made up of um, gang members. That's um, changed gang members and uh, you know, streets uh, people who uh, get involved in street crime. I like I said, they, they said the allegations are uh, they denied the allegations. Of course, so, well, they were denied. You know, in fact, it's so interesting that you picked this story because today, while I was in church, mm -hmm. you know, um, it was a very short message my pastor preached about. It was talking about. Why did God describe us as sheep, you know, in the Bible? Why didn't he describe us as something like a, a lion or, a, or maybe an eagle or something? Mm. It's because, he, you know, he wanted us to understand that the vulnerability of a sheep, you know, the strength of the of a ship would be found in the, the, le the total leader. Total dependence. Total dependence on the leader. Mm -hmm. So he was now cautioning a lot of people that be careful who you call your shepherd because of pastors like, like this. this. Mm. You understand? He's, I mean, he was, he was also referring, you remember the video of the pastor that told their members to go and eat grass? There are all sorts. There's another pastor that had, he's had his bath in a big and bowl of water and to drink, to drink the, water. From the water. I'm just thinking, how does, how, how does it get to a stage where somebody tells you That's to, to tell do all you those things? That's highly, um, how do I? Gullible? Gullible. So, and people truly, the, the way a human being is wired, you truly need a leader. So you will be blessed to have a leader that truly cares about you. And that's why I'm happy we're talking about politics today. Mm -hmm. Because if we, be, if we understand, we are, wired to want, we are wired to want to have a leader. Someone to look up Someone to. Someone to, to lead us to say, okay, this is the right way to go. Because so it just the makes, prayer, makes things easier. Yes, the prayer is that let us even have a good leader. That is the prayer. Mm. Honestly, because if you fall into the wrong hand, mm. things like this, you'd see it. But, well, we're not saying that guilty or not. We're just saying this is a developing story, and it's quite interesting. So we'll follow up and see how um, the investigations go. Mm. No problem. No problem. Okay. Mariam, how about you? What did you find? Well, my story is a rather sad one, um, unfortunately. Actress Angela Corey oh. was attacked. According to her, there were assassins, and they shot her multiple times about 10 bullets in the head. Oh my goodness. So pathetic and hurt. I, I'm I wondering how she, I think it's the grace of God, you know, I felt so bad for her, but she's doing strong, she's doing okay, and we're really grateful for her life. And oh my goodness. We wish her, the women at Waze wish her a sound recovery. I'm yes. just, I'm honestly, I saw that video, oh my dear. heart was like beating so fast because there was blood all over. You know, I was Ten bullets to the brain. As in, it's a miracle she that she's alive. That's what I'm you know, saying. She's not supposed to First of to all, she didn't yet. say where she was. She didn't say what, where it happened. She didn't mm -hmm. say who she was with. Mm -hmm. But she's saying that whoever it was that, that target, because she believes that the people are after it was her life. It was a targeted attack. attack yeah. you know, that it was assassin. Because, you know, when I saw the, first, the, the story the first time, it, it was reported that it was robbery. But but when we now read the story in the in the punch, yeah. she's saying mm -hmm. that it was assassin. So it's a sad thing. Honestly, really I, sad. I I just pray. <coughs> I pray. That's it's all I can sad. say. We all that pray for her. I, I hope that she gets and better. she gets better. That's yeah. all. That's all. Because it was what I saw wasn't looking good. We need better security in this. We country. need better Quite everything frankly, in the country. Everything needs to be needs to be better. It's sad. <laughs> All right, for my story, um, actually, I'm happy to take this story because it's a follow-up of what we found yesterday. Mm -hmm. You know, yesterday, Chinasa had taken the story of um, the airline 
or was it China? No, it was Lamy that took the story of um, Turkish airline, mm -hmm. you know, federal government going at them and telling them they're going to revoke their license mm -hmm. and all of those things. So today it was reported, in fact, I was driving in the car and, you know, it was reported that they brought bigger aircraft, which is, I mean, it's an immediate Big response. Airbuses. Yeah, they brought bigger aircraft, you know, and they already, people's luggage that had been having issues, they, mm -hmm. they already bring in, you know, so it's a direct response to the fact that, and that was what Lamy was saying, that the, because the government wants wanted to clamp down mm. on them. They had threatened them. They were going to shut them down and all of, all of those things. We saw this immediate... Oh, so you know, where has the, the big... Where have they been since? Airplane, where has it been? You know, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of the government for taking for a doing solid this, stand that on yeah. this. But I wish they would speak up on more important more, issues. No, no, this, this, is, is, this, this important. is important, yes, but there are more yeah, but, but important issues. They just need to do this to other, to other issues, issues, but yes. it doesn't, this it doesn't is also make important. this one any less important. You know, what, what I told Lam yesterday, which is what I was still repeat. The truth is that if you understand the revenue that is being generated by these people, mm. trust me, you can't even touch it. So that's why they would quickly respond to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, um, we forgot to mention today is National Bill of Rights Day. Mm -hmm. mm. On December 15th, um, 1791, the first amendment to the Constitution were rectified, known as the Bill of Rights. This 10 amendment protects the most fundamental rights of Americans, like freedom of religion, freedom of speech, freedom of the press, the right to protest, the right, um, the guarantee of equal protection under the law. Other amendments include the right to bear arms and protection against unreasonable searches and seizures amongst others. I am hoping we will have this kind of... I know we have a lot we of freedom of things. the right to bear arms, because this, this amendment was made by, uh, I think, President Roosevelt back in 1941, yes. and every right to freedom of speech and all that, I agree. But, but that arm right everybody has been fighting yeah, them Yeah, because part of the challenges America is going Facing, through right yeah. now is right to bear arms. Yes. Yeah. I don't that want that, that kind of amendment in Nigeria. To, yeah. Please, thank you. <laughs> All right, up next, today, as I said um, earlier, we're talking politics and youth engagement in politics. So when we come back from the break, John Sayano joins us.